Hey, Doug. Hello. Can I see in my office real quick? Okay. Uh, what's this about? Oh, you don't, you don't have to worry. Just uh, come on. Uh, um, okay. Some of the people on the floor have been telling me you're kind of worried about this corona thing. Uh, Is that true? Yes, for a good reason. Doug, um, I hate to tell you this, but uh, little Jessica and baby, uh, baby Ramsey... They're not going to have such a good Christmas if you're fired because you're worried about Corona. <laughs> oh, God. I need this job. Do you think your kids are going to think you're cool if you're homeless, but, begging for scraps? But, but, what if, I'm da- what if I die? Uh, it, wouldn't you rather be dead than a coward? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. I hate talking about Corona so much, but that's... All that's going on in the world. Hey, the so, world. Uh, do you uh, do you have to keep working now that you're now that there's a corona? Well, things are finally slowing down, so now I'm just kind of chilling. Uh, okay, chilling. With, do you think like after it settles, everything will just go straight back to normal? Or? In Japan, yes. Yeah. They don't ever really change. It's almost like not even like fully like I know in America they're like, yeah, they're they're like full into like the the quarantine, but Japan's kinda like they're they're halfway there, but there's <laughs> also like a I guess we kinda have to do it, but if we didn't yeah. have to <laughs> Yeah yeah we yeah, wouldn't yeah. quarantine. Yeah, I see people still just walk. I see people on dates, and I'm like, does that sound fun? Like, hey, do you want to go get sick? Coming from the country, I used to quarantine from everything. <laughs> They're like, yeah, well, all right, well, it's not really quarantine. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we're we're kind of working from home. But it's weird because it's like, we sometimes work from the office, but we're still working online. So it's like, why are you risking? <laughs> <laughs> but... I don't know. I don't know. It's I don't really know. I, I we don't know. I I don't know. Yeah. I just don't know. If That's, you know, please leave a comment. <laughs> oh, I know. I will, there's plenty of people. I will educate these boys. <laughs> they didn't believe me. <laughs> I've been trying to warn the government about Corona for years. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess this one probably won't have any topic. Is there any topic you want to talk about? Mm, no really topic we just shoot the shit it's all, all about right. stuff all right then uh what's the uh biggest surprise about living in japan for you oh the biggest surpri- not, not 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 in contact either i mean while you like living in the country my biggest surprise it actually took me a while to figure this surprise out oh Ooh. And like the surprise goes to what, what my main mantra is that is that the term mantra? I don't know. Uh, do you have a thesaurus? Or a dictionary? <laughs> my mantra is just how similar everything is, dude. I was thinking about that today. <laughs> well, you thought I was going to say that, or that's no, 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 no. I I was thinking when I was going to ask you the question, that was going to be my thing. Oh. Was like. It's so similar to America. I, 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 I was worried. I was like, why does he hit me with this question? He hit me with this this bullshit question that everyone asks me. Yeah, well, because the obvious answer is the chopsticks thing. Or <laughs> like, <laughs> we listen to J-pop and you listen to American pop. Like, okay, you go well. in the house. You take your shoes off. Well, and yeah. I'm going to say, uh, when I visited the home, everyone takes their shoes off. <laughs> in America? Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. It's not really... <laughs> Or you ask, like, what should I do with my shoes? Yeah, it's not just like, you just don't walk in and start yeah, stomping yeah. around. <laughs> Which every Japanese person thinks, you just, like, go step in the mud and just, Hey, fuck your, your carpet! <laughs> nice cut. <laughs> like, you don't come in like Rick James from the Dave Chappelle skit. <laughs> nice couch, nigga. And you just like... <laughs> um, yeah, I always wonder, when Japanese people see people wearing shoes in movies, like, when they're inside, are they like, why, why... Oh, this must be a fictional movie. They're wearing <laughs> shoes indoors? No way. 
Or you'll see them like prop their feet up on a on a table or something like, oh, in America you can lay back and sit on a chair or something. I don't know. Which is funny because like some a lot of the establishments I've been in, the floor is more dirty mm. <laughs> when you don't have your shoes on. Yeah, it's like I get like, like even in Japan, like they'll put like that you have the indoor shoes because they're even acknowledging like yeah, yeah the floor is not that it's not no sacred clean floor. Yeah, it is dirty. When I uh, when I worked at the junior high school, we had to clean, and they had indoor slippers, and I like stepped from the indoors to that middle area yeah. between the indoors and the outdoors, and they're like, no, 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 and they're like, whoa. those are the indoor slippers. Here are the outdoor slippers. I'm like, you have two different slippers. Yeah. Like, why? And these are the bathroom slippers. Oh, and the bat, the which are terrible. <laughs> God, we we'll take a peek yeah I, I could rant for days about how much i hate the shoe culture here and here are the rape slippers oh you, you can sneak up on them <laughs> but real just like bunny slippers like, that'd be nice. great you're checking out you're checking out amazon and the five star review oh you can rape anybody <laughs> like, oh those are nice muffled with all my footsteps <laughs> i escaped from the cops on these oh uh okay well Okay, what what's one thing you would say is similar? I guess everything, really. Everything. <laughs> but like when you first come, like you you think everything's going to be different. Mm-hmm. And here's how crazy I am. So when I was in Tokyo, like yeah, I had the image in my you know in the brain because Japan does it so goddamn much. Like <laughs> everything's different. And because I thought that, I actually wasn't having that much of a good time. Oh, really? Because you think everything's different, but shit keeps happening to you where you're like, this is the same shit. <laughs> yeah. So there's a, what's it called when like the reality and the thoughts is clashing, so it's fucking with you? Um, Disparity? I don't know. I don't know. But the, it was a clash between like what you thought was supposed to happen what was supposed to happen. Mm. And, and so it, when yeah. I... Oh, go, go ahead. Well, everything that's different is only surface area where it's like yeah, yeah oh they their signs are written in kanji but our signs are in english or something like that but then like i it, it kept being a slow build up until like the final thing was when i came to osaka and worked in the kabakura <laughs> i was like oh it's all the same shit <laughs> that was my problem right yeah and when i found out that was all the same shit then i became i started liking japan yeah, like if I stayed in the Tokyo with that same mindset, mm. I would, I would be back home yeah. years ago. Uh, one good example of that happened to me recently, where um, so we're doing these online lessons, and I have a private student who actually understands English, mm. so you can talk to them, just like we would talk. This is a kid or an adult? Uh, I think he's junior high school. Okay, but um, he was telling me. I was like, so what are you doing during, you know, you can't go to school. He's like, oh, I was watching YouTube. I'm so bored. And then he's like, I watched a funny video. I'm like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, it was a Japanese video about foreigners trying to speak Japanese, but they keep saying funny stuff because they don't know it. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, okay. That's exactly like in America where Asians try and speak English. And then you're like, oh, this is kind of funny. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. So it's like. <clears throat> it's exactly the same in both countries. Yeah, we'll just yeah. flip the language. So, and then like uh, my boss at my first uh, preschool A college job, she helped a lot because she was a complete not nah. She was like, like she did things like um, ah shit. I could go all right. So she was. <laughs> She was she was attractive. I mean, I wouldn't say like smoking, but she was she was decent. Okay, on a scale of one to a hundred. No, nah, no. Nah. Do, 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 do you remember the Patrice? One yeah, to yeah, yeah, one to thirty. Okay, all right. Then I will was give she her. A, was she a fine looking eight bitch? She's a twenty. Wait, wait, one to ten. To 20. <laughs> you don't even know this kid. I, would I give her? Would I put her in the thirties? Like a low thirty. All right, so I'll give her, uh, was it, 11 to 20? Then she's a 20. She's like a... Because it goes 1 to 10 is ugly bitches. 11 to 20 is... is all right. All right. Bitch. And then... 21 to 30 is fine. Yeah, so she's at the highest level. Yeah. Maybe even 21. But she, she just... 
Yeah, I think maybe twenty one. Okay. She she breaks the mold of normal. She's in the she's in the hot category, but she couldn't. She can't compete. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. But she's in that category where it's like she gets enough attention, but she Man. can't get what she wants. Like, yeah, she can't get that yeah. next level. Yeah, she can't. Okay, she can't ascend to Super Saiyan Gen two. <laughs> <laughs> She'll never become a Super Saiyan. Was this story going anywhere? Or were you oh, just <laughs> or were you just ranking this lady? But like she like she, I kept finding out like she kept like so she would always come late to work. Okay. Well, and she was the manager? Yeah, and she's like the manager of the, this particular school. Okay. And this is like children, so it's like you okay. kinda need to be there. And you you gotta like watch a bunch of fucking four. Like the teachers are all foreigners, so we're like, hey, you're you gotta be the boss here. Yeah. And, like, she does, like, I always find out, like, she was, like, always backed up on her work and she didn't know how to work. <laughs> That's the same as mine. So wow. She would, but she would always get, like, another guy manager from a different school to come help. To do her work for her? Yeah. Okay. And, you know, it's a guy and she was attractive enough so they would always come. Oh, like, oh, oh sure. I'll help you. Don't worry. And then it wasn't to a while. And don't, let me remind you, she comes late all the time. Did she ever say why? Let me tell you. One oh, day, oh, sorry. it was like an event, and was, you had like two options. You could either go watch the kids or just clean up the school. And I'm like, I ain't watching no fucking kids, so I could just stay back and clean the school. <laughs> that that is uh, the obviously correct choice. Yeah. <laughs> and I found out that was that was the best choice because <laughs> <laughs> the uh, toilet's a little backed up. Can you get in? Yeah, don't worry, it's cool. <laughs> and so. I found out later the guy, the manager and the other guy, they went to the the kid thing. Okay. And so I found out later that the the guy was like, yeah, like we were just sitting there talking. She was telling me like how um she has a, always had a lot of boyfriends, but they always treat her good. Okay. And she doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now she has this current boyfriend. Okay. And he treats her like shit, and she loves it. Wow, really? And so like then he's like, yeah, like. He'll either, like, call her up at, like, 3 a.m. Oh, wow. And tell her to come over and make him food. <laughs> food? Really? And then, like, then here's two and two cars. Here's where two and two starts to click. You're like, so is that why she always comes late? Oh, okay. Because she's waking up at 3 a.m. To, co- to cook, cook this guy, guy food. Yeah. And, and, she's like, and she's one of those girls that she never tell you, but she'll just come in late like, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, yeah. Oh, but it's like, no, bitch. You were, you were out there living your, your fantasies. Oh, right. Hmm. And then she's like, and then one day she's like, ah, I don't know, like the way he's treating me. Okay. So she got another guy of like, of, I guess a beta male looking guy <laughs> or a pussy guy. Yeah. She thought like she wanted that. She didn't want that. Okay. She cheated on him, went back to the guy that was treating her like <laughs> shit. So already I was like, and this is when I was like really starting to like get in, get into like, this is like around the time where I was like starting to learn about Patrice and the red pill. Okay. But not much, but I, a little bit. So, so you like, understood the basics like, okay, okay. Yeah. 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 I, I saw like the basic. I was like, I was, like, I was a basic level student and I was like, okay. I was like, Okay, like I'm, I'm seeing what's going on here. Okay, so she stayed with the other guy, but then saw the other guy on the side, and then she just like completely dropped the the. It, it was Dope. a short lived. She was like, I don't want this pussy. Huh. Okay. So she was my first introduction, and she's running a a kindergarten school. I don't want this pussy. <laughs> like, shouldn't you be a little more compassionate? And there was another time where she, if she would wear like sexy shirts or like low cut v-necks okay and like i was kind of i was open with her she was cool i was like oh, hey okay. i was like oh you showing the girls out she's like yeah well i just want i want to feel good about myself today this Ooh. is this exact oh, wow. word she would say i was like ah you wearing that that shirt with the titties all hang out and she would literally say yeah i want to feel good about myself today huh, okay <laughs> she was she was not uh she was very open i even said some inappropriate stuff to her before at work yeah hey, i was like fuck it i was <laughs> yeah but i'm always worried like oh it's cool today but tomorrow she'll be like hey i found that highly inappropriate right right so i just I, I, okay i'm the opposite of you at work i'm just like okay mm. ah. 
Wow. That, that's how I am now. Cause yeah. I don't got time for the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But back then, two years ago, I was kind of I was running amok. I didn't give a shit. Yeah, the work life is really for me at least is just when's the day over? <laughs> yeah, we're not get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Uh. Okay. So, so that goes. But what was it? Uh, what's the? Di- yeah, yeah. So. Oh, but yeah. Okay. So where it's like. Mm. Japanese women aren't different than American women. Like, ah, it's, it's the same bullshit. <laughs> hmm. I think that's why a lot of guys have a hard time. It's because they think it's mm, different. Yeah, yeah. And so when the girl starts acting like a bitch, you you give her a pass because you're like, well, maybe maybe I don't understand. In Japan. there, Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But there, there is no cultural barrier. She's being a bitch. <laughs> Yeah. And this goes for guys, too. Like, if a guy's being an asshole to you, you feel like, is this guy being an asshole? Yes, you always have that. You always have that thought, like, maybe I just don't understand the culture. Nah, he's being a dick. Yeah. And that, you need to approach him. Yeah, that's something I realized really quickly is, like, oh, okay, you you can't let stuff slide. <laughs> nah, man. So. Even if you got to step to a motherfucker in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> huh. But... I feel like people are gen- generally less confrontational in public here. In 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 private, that's completely different. But th- I mean, that's not necessarily a big difference. That's just kind of a cultural thing where people are. I say, or do you have a story that contradicts that? <laughs> no, no. I'll just say like, oh, here's another. This this is uh for us foreigners. So this is going to go even deeper. Oh. Okay, let me even go deeper. They say, like, like, uh, oh, shit, all right, we got to go deep. We got to go deep. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to. If you're easily offended, keep listening, <laughs> but open your mind. All right, so uh, I learned this from YouTube. Some guy was like. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the best advice. <laughs> so there's really, like, saying black on black crime oh. is not really a thing. Because oh. there's white on white crime. I don't think so. <laughs> Trust me, I'm white. I've never, I've <laughs> never up. seen it. There's white on white there's, crime. No, there's not. There's I... Mexican on Mexican crime. <laughs> there's Asian on Asian crime. So what you're really talking about is proximity. Oh. Ah. And so, like, now let's move to Japan. Okay. You can find a lot of cases of Japanese on Japanese crime. Well, because that's 99% of the people, <laughs> But there's not a lot of Japanese on foreigner crime. There you find some. I would would you say only just kind of scams, maybe like you you slipped into the wrong bar and they took advantage of you. Yeah, just some, well, maybe once in a while there's a murder. Oh, but also, I, all right, here's the even deeper part. The reason why there's no uh, not a lot of Japanese on foreigner confrontation or crime is because. If you're a foreigner in Japan, you're essentially invisible, and they mm. don't want to deal with you. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, it's a hard truth, but they, they don't even want to deal with you to the point where they're like, they don't even want to commit crime. They're just like, I just, <laughs> just get this guy away from me. Yeah. I don't true. even want to rob this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Huh. So, like, when a lot of foreigners say, ah, it's safe, it's like, people, they just don't want to deal with you. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if Japanese people, but Japanese people also think Japan's safe. If they're talking to another foreigner, they do. Oh, dude, that's me. Nah. Okay, well. But two Japanese people talking, they don't have a completely different speech. Oh, okay. Like, I remember I was teaching at a adult Ayakawa. Yeah. One of my many jobs. <laughs> Every episode, you have a new yeah. job. <laughs> So I got a new job. <laughs> I'm, so I'm you, cutting down trees. I'm a that would, logger. I would, that would be fun as shit. Oh, it would. Yeah. I did see something online. I was like, do you want to just work on the farm and harvest lettuce? Oh, no, no, no. I've heard about those. Those are scams. Oh, in what way? They they take advantage of foreigners who want to live here. And then basically you're a slave. Yeah. 
All right, all right. So don't, yeah. You know, why do you want to pick lettuce? <laughs> Anything but teaching, man. <laughs> that bad, please, please. Anything but teaching. <laughs> Shit, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying before that? You were saying about how great it is living in Japan. Yes, yes. Um, all right, let me, let me let me say a nice thing, and I think this is special to Japan. Yeah, I like their restaurants culture. Oh, like how you can just go into a restaurant. Yeah. No tip, don't have no annoying waiter that needs extra money. Tipping, I find almost offensive. Like, why do I have to pay their salary? Like, I'm already paying the restaurant. And they always say, like, well, then the food's going to be more expensive. It's not in Japan. It's cheaper in Japan. Exactly. And the food's even cheaper, so you can... Yeah. It's actually better for me to go out and get a good $8, $9 meal. Yeah. Then to actually go to a supermarket, buy food, That's I'm not going to cook it right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to cook it right. It's going to be more expensive. I'm still going to be hungry. Like, But if you go to a restaurant, you know what's going to fill you up. Yeah, so there you go. I always, Japan, I've given you this one. You got good restaurant culture. Yeah, and basically, the only thing I don't like is that you're almost expected to treat the staff poorly. Like, I remember me and my friend were hanging out with our Japanese friend. Yeah. We're at a restaurant eating dinner. And then we said, like, arigato to the wait, the waiter. Mm. And she was like, oh, no, 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 no. You don't know how to do that. And we're like, but it's weird to not say anything. And she's like, in Japan, that word is meaningless. Like, we <laughs> yeah. say arigato for everything. So, it really has no point. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. Where I feel weird saying I don't. I feel weird not saying anything. Like <laughs> when they give you a meal and you just like look at them, like all right. <laughs> oh, all right, look good. Also, um, look good. also one thing good about the staff is they're not getting tips, but they still do a good job. Yeah, like even without the tips, it's yeah. still it, it's even. I think it even it's even better. Yeah. You don't got the guy, hey, I'm Timothy. Good, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> oh, is this your son? It's like, hey, you want to see a magic trick? <laughs> <laughs> Please tip me. <laughs> My daughter's dying of cancer <laughs> and AIDS. Or you got the, the, the real old waitress that's like, oh, it's just bitch. sad. It's like, oh, baby, come on. You got to. <laughs> Please give me. Like, all right, I'll tip you if you go away, honey. Where's your daughter at? <laughs> would, you, would you like some more coffee there, honey? <laughs> No, I'm fine. It's still full. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Dolores. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's always Dolores, isn't it? <laughs> um, when I first went back to America from teaching in Kawagoi, um, I got to, I don't remember what airport it was, but I don't know, Atlanta, whatever, one of the airports. Um, I think I was at Chili's too. Oh, <laughs> and uh, work at a Chili's. The weights. Oh, really? Yes. Got any hot tips? That's the one. It's the bottomless chips and salsa. Oh, okay. Okay, I did not order that, but <laughs> okay. So the um, this was a big culture shock going back to America. Like the waitress didn't seem to even care that I was at the restaurant. <laughs> I was like, I waited like five to ten minutes. No one came. And it was it, it was empty too. It was the uh, airport. <laughs> Nobody was at the restaurant. Hey, who this white boy sitting over there? I don't know. Okay, it, it must have been Atlanta then, because she was <laughs> she was a, a a hefty black woman. Oh, and um, they usually the nice ones. She wasn't nice. She wasn't all honey child. No. Nah. Oh, honey, 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 chocolate did. That would have been nice. <laughs> Come on, I got two hours to kill before this flight. <laughs> Um, is that how that works um, no 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 like uh, nobody came and we live in Japan where to get the waiter you know you go sumimasen they come yeah. over to you and I was like it's been 10 minutes so I was like uh, excuse me and then she goes I'll get there eventually I was like oh, oh I'm <laughs> she, sorry she said eventually yeah it was like it was like I'll get to you it's like no one else is here what are you t- why can't you I'm like uh, can I get a water? She's like, you're not gonna order any food. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm working, honey. <laughs> Maybe she left you there. Like, I wanted your whole order, honey child. <laughs> That's like, why I gave you all that time, <laughs> chief. <laughs> chief. She's just sitting down, like, I gotta get up to get this order. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wait, what airport was this? It must have been Atlanta. <laughs> Were you in Atlanta? I've been there. 
Why were you it there? Because it's a connecting flight to Indiana. No, no flight from Japan goes straight to Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> they got like a twenty seater. <laughs> All right, we're uh, whew, we don't have a uh, we don't have a movie for you. Just look out the window. <laughs> Which I always get seated next to the worst people. I've my friend, uh, JP. Oh, uh, shout out, oh, uh, JP. He. I need to mark myself off this nigga. That's Jeremy. That's a different guy. Oh wait, who's JP? He lives in America. Oh. Uh, I, oh, I, I want my girl self off this from him too. <laughs> oh yeah, if you're listening, please mail it to us. Um, he every flight he's like, oh yeah, I sat next to this person. They were. We had a great conversation. I'm like, I always sit next to the worst people. <laughs> the last one was a guy who was so fat, he was dripping onto me. <laughs> and uh, and dripping. he sits down next to me and he's like, oh, yeah, I hate whatever flight, whatever company we're on. And he's like, you know, at uh, Delta, they have seatbelts that fit me. And I'm like, whoa, 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 <laughs> sir, sir. Sir, <laughs> it's not uh, it's not the uh, airplane. <laughs> but he just t- he just tuck his fat rolls into the seat, and they'll. Uh... How long was this flight? How many hours was this flight? It must have been thirteen. Oh Jesus! This was from Tokyo, Japan. Yeah, to probably Tokyo to. What's his fat to... ass doing in Japan? I don't know. I didn't ask him. <laughs> I remember one guy was like, "Oh, you went to Japan." My daughter likes Asia. Can you send her an email? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> What's her email address? And then I just never did. It's, it's like a some, weird thing to like ask. Some them. seven-year-old. Some, are you oh, trying to, yeah. <laughs> why, what are you doing here? You just send her an email. Just send her an email. <laughs> Say, let's meet up for cookies. Then I got walk in the house and Chris Hansen's there. I'm like, hold on. Yeah. I just want her to talk to her about Japan. Seriously. Yeah, she has like one Pikachu doll. Like, I thought she liked Japan. <laughs> <laughs> the catching predator. <laughs> you guys catfished me. <laughs> you thought you were catching Pokemon. <laughs> we, were, we were catching predators. <laughs> this Pikachu snatch you will not get with the Master Ball. Wait, what? Hold on. What's going on, Hanson? Oh. Hanson. <laughs> Hanson. I bet he's probably a secret pedophile. <laughs> Bro, I, I mean, he has a, a deep interest in the subject. Hey. Anyway, back well, to I, I've, I've Luckily, never. all my flights have been pretty decent also. I always get stuck next to a sleeper, and I'm like, I can't sleep on a 13 hour flight. Like, how do I go to the bathroom 20 times? <laughs> you gotta, do you drink or not? Nah? No, because I have to pee. Uh-huh. And I don't want to be drunk on a 13 hour flight. Like, oh, wow, this isn't good. Yeah, man. Take some, you ever take any pills? I never took any pills. Uh, yeah, just Percocet. <laughs> Molly. Percocet. Percocet. Uh, no, I just, I just suffer. <laughs> just watch I watch movies. Oh, here's another Marvel movie. I've already seen it, but whatever. <laughs> this will be two hours out of 13. Right? He was like, well, it will pass the time. <laughs> One time I watched John Carter from the seat in front of me. Oh, gee. I was like, I'm not going to watch it myself, but I'll kind of <laughs> like look at you watching it. <laughs> So I, I, I can't turn it on myself, but... Just... Yeah, I'm not going to have that in my seat history. <laughs> hey, this guy is watching John Carter. <laughs> That'd be interesting if that was on, like, the dark side of the web. Like, <laughs> like airplane seat movie picks per person. Like, oh, Jennifer's watching uh, Mask 2, Son of Mask. Like, oh, why, why is this on here? Or like the camera, I, I I don't think there's a camera, but like somehow they can get your face. They can oh, like, from the from the screen. So okay. like, look at this fucking look at him. He's looking like a fucking idiot. He's, he's like, laughing his ass off. <laughs> oh, he's just spilled water all over himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch him ring the bell. Bing boy, I fucking knew it. <laughs> yeah, there was some turbulence. I spilled <laughs> some. Something fell on me. Can I get a napkin? <laughs> yeah, my flights are. That's the one. That's probably the worst part of going back to America or going to Japan. It's like, ugh, that flight. It's rough. I... It's rough. Can you really sleep? I can. I can. Hmm. But I've I've always got lucky and like usually had the whole row. When you usually fly home on the on the the flight, when do you usually you usually do on like on the popular flight days, don't you? Oh, I guess yeah. But I had one. F- my first flight to Japan was empty. 
Which I don't know how that happened because every other one's been full. I guess people are starting to go to Japan. But uh, it was so empty, you could just move wherever you wanted. That's the best. Yeah, yeah. On the on the way back, I uh, did not wake up for my alarm, so I got to the airport right as the plane like was finished loading, and I was like, "How can I get on the plane?" And they're like, "No." Wait, 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 one more time. So you were you were on the flight already? No, 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 no. I got to the airport. Yeah. As I was like, "Oh, the flight leaves at eight. I'm here at eight. Like, can I get on?" Because you overslept. Yeah, like I didn't. My alarm didn't wake up. Uh-huh. Wake me up. And uh, they're like, "No." And they're like, "But you can get on the next day's flight." And they're like, "And we can bump you up to first class." Hey. For like, I don't know, extra something. And uh, wow. Hey. That's completely different. It's a different world up there, they, man. They don't offer you orange juice or champagne back in the, back <laughs> in the other seats. I'm like, would you like uh, this uh, this newspaper for today? I'm like, no. <laughs> but thanks for offering. Would you like a blowjob? Like what? Like, yeah. From from you? Like yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? You're paying time? ten thousand dollars. <laughs> the closest all I had was. There's a kind of like business economy. Yeah. And even that's an upgrade. I was like, this is not economy. Holy shit. Oh, right. Yeah. And I was like, damn. I was just like, because it's like, you could, I imagine how good first class is, but you never know until oh, you have it. Yeah. So you had it. Yeah. It was well worth, well, I didn't pay the full price, obviously, hey. but I never understood why they, why they look like, why they seated first class passengers first because yeah. it doesn't make sense you should yeah. you should load the people in the back first so there's not a line i guess they just don't give a shit they're like it's gonna take off whenever that, we don't care how long you have to wait to sit down it also doesn't make sense though like i, I get the part where it's like oh i'm special i can get on first but, but wouldn't it you, doesn't make sense wouldn't you want to not be cramped up yeah wouldn't you rather get on last but i guess not they want that first I want to sit there. I I want to see the look on the people's face when they see me in this seat, and they have to go to the back. That's probably one of the yeah. So can I? Mm, I just sit there. Mm, go to the guess who you where you gotta sit. <laughs> I'm gonna fall asleep in this seat. Oh yeah, it's like a it's, it's like a pod. Oh, the other pods are nice. I was one. How if you have a story, please write this in the comments. I always wonder what you can get away with on airplanes and in airports. Yeah. I I have a feeling a lot of crazy shit goes down in both, mm-hmm. but I've never like witnessed anything. Like, what, like what's, what's your imagination taking you? Give me an example. Because it's like, at an airport, you're going to leave in an hour anyways. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure some weird shit goes down. And on an airplane, it's like... About like sexual shit or... Or whatever. Whatever. All right. And yeah. like, okay. on an airplane, it's like... We're all trapped in this flying tube. We'll get there in three hours. What, like, what's going on? <laughs> I hear what you're saying, but I, I don't, I've never witnessed anything. I'm always, I'm always curious what the air pilots are doing. Oh, the pi- Oh, they're <laughs> they're just fucking off. They because you know it's all automatic, right? I mean, maybe not all automatic, but I think the majority is. I think you got to go like, oh hey everybody, I'm in control. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> And then back off, and then all right, keep you know, no lower, 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 keep going. <laughs> yeah, Shit, there was one thing. Uh, it was one funny cartoon. It was like they were like doing the airplane skit. Yeah, I was like, Oh, what are you doing? It's like, I'm on Molly. He's like, Ah, give me some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know where it's from, but they have to be. And you know, oh, when I was going back home in March. The airplane pilot took like 30 minutes. He, We don't know why the fuck he was late, but he was late. <laughs> and it was either because he was... Hung over. Hung over or having sex. And I, I think it's like... I think he was doing drugs. <laughs> and because then when he finally came, even the, like, the stewardess was like, Okay, he's finally here. And we can go. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was that? Like, I'm like, huh. what, what was he doing? I guess they can't leave without him, and they're not going to get a different pilot because he's probably tired or whatever. It's like, what was this guy doing? Like, what, what kind of condition is he? Co- 
What kind of condition are you in? <laughs> <laughs> huh, okay. I I always hear the same voices for the pilots too, like, eh, okay, everybody, we're ready to go. Like, I've never heard anyone else, any other, to- like, tone. Yeah, no. They always keep it together when they're on the thing. <laughs> All right, what up, y'all? What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, a black this one. Your, this is your pilot, Marquise. <laughs> Marquise. <laughs> and my co-pilot, uh, Hernandez. <laughs> we gonna get you there. We scheduled the lift off, but we gonna go a little early. Hopefully with less turbulence, we gonna get there a little early. All right, y'all ready? Dude, that's the weirdest thing when they're like, we made it to Japan a little bit early. So we're just going to go early. It's like, Damn. wait, I thought this was all like scheduled. Yeah. Like, no, we just got here faster. We got here fast. We were uh, flight 4875. They wanted to race a little bit. We had a little deal. You think they get more money if they get there early? Like, no. Like even the company gives them more money? No, because like you got to deal with like the air traffic control or whatever. I guess that would be a thing where they're like, we're here early. I'm like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> like, go to China and come back. <laughs> nope. We here. <laughs> we park it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that sushi before it closes. <laughs> Real authentic. <laughs> That would oh, that would be the best crash video ever. <laughs> Johnson, what are you doing? The sushi is gonna get cold. <laughs> it's already cold. Oh shit! Uh, oh damn! Anything else about Japan you like? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, um um shit! I mean. Uh... Hold on, shit. I lost my train of thought. Keep, you you say something. Say something. Um, hmm. No, keep going. Don't pause nothing. Oh, really? Um, y'all ever... Y'all ever go to... Uh, y'all ever go to any kind of like... Um, y'all, you guys, y'all ever go to like a... Um, what is it called? <laughs> like a... Oh, what is that called? Hold on, like a, like a, it's like a maze, but it's made out of hay, hay maze. Oh, like a, but it's like on a farm. And they they got the hay bales and they make a maze out of it. One time I got stuck in one and I was <laughs> freaking out, and uh, I was real worried I wasn't gonna make it out alive. <laughs> was this America or here? There's no mazes or hay in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> what have you ever seen hay? I don't know. We never go to the countryside, man. Let's go. We need to go there more. The countryside of Japan is interesting because it's like, oh, this is Japan, Japan. You know, like, like, uh, old, like what people picture Japan being. Yeah, know? like holy shit. It is interesting on I the Shinkan. What, what are you looking at? That the, cartoon? The, yeah, the, the Molly thing. Oh, uh, it is interesting when you're on the Shinkansen. And you're like going from Tokyo to Osaka, and you like look out the window, and you're like, "Oh wow, there's no stores." <laughs> like, well here. we're not even anywhere near a city. <laughs> I don't know what they do out there. Yeah. You guys remember Obama? <laughs> Make you hum like a didgeridoo, then bounce up and down like a kangaroo. Two wild animals at the zoo, watch out, this elephant's gonna spew. Going downtown, pussy so wet, I'm about to drown. Can't hear you back in your hometown, do you want me to bring that hammer down?